I'm kind of surprised since it turns out Zhao Chu's kit is a little bit underwhelming before. Now that the V3 changes are here for all the characters, let's hope for the best to our first 5 star fire nihility character. Is it true that Zhao Chu's kit underwent some good changes? Or is it not enough to make him a good unit and worth all of your stellar jades? In this video, I'm going to review some changes to his kit, Edelons, and LC, as well as his possible builds. So, let's start! Zhao Chu is a 5 star limited character that follows the path of nihility. His kit is mainly about giving a stackable debuff to enemies as well as enabling some characters that favor it to function really well, such as Acheron or Dr. Ratio. His debuff is mainly about increasing enemies' damage taken or vulnerability as well as giving additional fire damage at the start of enemy's turn. Starting from his skill, there's nothing special that changed. He still deals fire damage to 3 enemies, only his multiplier is lower. It seems that Hoyo don't want him to deal a lot of damage. And then his ultimate is also the same. He will deal fire damage to enemies, sets the action roll stack to the highest numbers in the battlefield, and creates a field that makes enemy increase their damage taken from the ultimate move. The only difference is that his multiplier is lowered once again. You may probably haven't seen it before, but there's a showcase of Zhao Chu using the hyper carry setup, and it turns out he is not bad. Having a low energy cost making him able to spam his ultimate, while the damage also benefits from his own action roll stacks. This might be the reason why the nerfs occurred and Hoyo Sim don't want Zhao Chu exceed his role as being a debuffer. Now moving on to his A2 trace. The old version is, when the field from his ultimate active, the enemy effect hit rate is reduced to 30%. At the start of their turn, the enemy is also inflicted with fire damage. As for the new A2, that no longer happened and instead, Zhao Chu will recover 15 energy at the start of the battle. So yes, the additional fire damage is now gone, but worry not, there are also some changes to his talent. The previous description is the same, but there is additional information about his new talent. When the enemy has Ashen Rose stacks, they are also considered as in a burn state, and takes about 180% dot equal to Zhao Chu's fire damage. This is actually an improvement to his kit since previously he was so restricted to Akron Team Com only, as you must unlock his Edelon 2 to make him a reliable dot enabler and make his team comp more flexible. Speaking of dot team comps, his signature LC also underwent some changes. The number of base chances are all the same for both versions, but there is a slight 4% nerf to the number of debuffs for the new LC. Also, now to escalate the unarmored effect to become cornered state, you don't have to deal another damage to the enemy that previously had been inflicted. For the new version, as long as they are under the dot state, you can already trigger the escalation for the corner state, with the same best chance of course. This is probably due to Zhao Chu being able to deal a burn dot. And now let's see some of his add changes. Is it more worth it now? Zhao Chu's Edelon don't have many alterations. The only thing that is different is his second Edelon now. The old version was making him a unit that was able to become a burn dot enabler. But since he can do it at E0 now, his new Edelon 2 will increase his burn damage multiplier by 300%. So now he can have up to 720 dot multiplier, since at level 10 he has 180%. If this is how it works, then that's a good Edelon for him. Well, that's all from his Edelons. Since most of them are still the same, this makes his E2 or his E6 the best Edelon to have. Well, if you really want to vertically invest in Zhao Chu. But 6 Edelon might sound too much and is realistic only for wells, so I guess his E2 is more recommended, at least from my own opinion. With this, now he is going to contribute a lot of damage in the dot team comps, as well as faster in stacking up his Ashen Rose from his E1. And now we are into the most common question when a new character just launched. Is it better to pull for his signature or get his first Edelon? In my honest opinion, I think you should go for his signature instead. Of course, his first Edelon lets your DPS do even more 48% damage when attacking enemies that are inflicted with Ashen Rose stat. But his LC here helps you to facilitate in building for Zhao Chu, since it offers 60% additional effect hit rate. Both Zhao Chu's ultimate and LC has a 60% base chance, so in order to land a guaranteed debuff to a higher level enemy, 
whose effect resistance is also high. You need around 170-ish percent of effect hit rate, and using his signature could somehow help that. I'm going to test a damage comparison by using Acheron with both Zhao Chu E1 and S1, together with Pella as well. And the result turns out not really far, and the difference is only 1.3%, with E1 S0 deals the highest damage. Always remember to take into consideration that the chance of winning a 4LC is higher than pulling for any character's Eidolons. How much is his personal burn damage? Since he can be a dot enabler in certain teams now, this makes a 4-star LC like Eyes of the Prey works well with him, where previously he only benefited from the effect he threat stats. I'm going to use this LC as an example to calculate his personal burn damage, and assuming he has a total attack of 1993 that excludes from the relics and planner, and his effect hit rate attack conversion from his trees. This is his personal burn damage. This number already includes his maximum action row stacks. You can even make his damage higher by using a death threats unit like Pella, or even Ron May. So what do you guys think about his personal damage? Is it better than Green Ivans? Let me know in the comments. There are actually quite a lot of variation for his relics if you are going to use a two set combinations. One of them is using any of the two piece attack together with two pioneer, since the enemy will be on the debuff state all the time. And then you could try combining both two piece attacks with two speed if you feel he has not yet reached the desirable speed stats, as well as two debuff with speed. But if you are going to play him in dot team setup, you could never go wrong using 4-piece prisoner to make his personal damage higher. For the planner options, you can use Pan Cosmic to get that extra 10% effect hit rate in case you get a bad roll in your substats and won't planning to attack his signature LC. Or you can use a super planner like Von Wack to help him generate more energy and have advanced forward at the beginning of the battle to apply Ashen Rose. Broken Kill can be a valid option too if you are using Aventurine as your sustain that can give 50% effect resist in Akron team setup. Akron can also benefit from this extra crit damage. If you feel that your Jiaochu has a great speed, even reaching more than 134, Glamot set can be a good choice too. So for Jiaochu, effect hit rate on the body piece is a must, and then you have to use speed in his boots to apply more action row stacks. You can use either fire damage or attack in his planner, but since he already gains a lot of attack with his traces, so fire damage boost will do. And to help him to do 100% ultimate uptime, use energy on his rope. The best 5 star LC for him is, no doubt, his own signature. It gives 60% additional effect hit rate that can make building him a lot easier. And by using this LC, the total vulnerability that he can give to the enemy is 79% that already includes an increase in ultimate damage taken. Aside from that, LCs like Incessant Rain can also benefit Zhao Chu since it has 24% effect hit rate and more 12% increased damage taken to enemy. Reforged Remembrance is surprisingly a valid option too, you get a 14% effect hit rate and more burn dot damage. Though you cannot maximize this passive to its full potential, but still can be used. In the name of the world might work too, if none of your characters wear this, you can use it to Zhao Chu. For 4 star options, I think the best one is before the tutorial mission. It's free from the past events with the maximum refinement. You pair him with Pella that can reduce enemy's defense to get the most of this LC's passive. Aside from that, the second best is of course Eyes of the Prey. You get plenty of effect hit rate and plenty of dot damage increase as well. The only downside of this LC is you can only obtain this through gacha. Ideally, Zhao Chi only fits into two team compositions. The first one is, of course, everybody knew it already, Acheron team comps. This consists of Acheron as the main DPS, two nihility units to maximize Acheron's trace, and one sustain. And the other team is Dot, since he can be a Dot enabler too now. Kafka is a must to force proc the other Dots, Black Swan for the second Dot DPS as well as to give Death Threat, and then Huo Huo can be your sustain or even other healers. But other DPS like Dr. Ratio or even Argenti can still synergize with Zhao Chu, even though they are not the best teammate for him. Dr. Ratio being a DPS that favors debuff can benefit from the Ashen Row stacks, and Argenti can abuse the ultimate damage vulnerability. But still, I think Zhao Chu's best team will be the two variations I mentioned before. 
If you have any other team comp variations, feel free to let me know in the comments. So should you pull for him, or he is a meh character that you should skip? Not gonna lie, Jochu's existence is purely for Acheron, even though now he gains access to other team comps. If your Acheron team's roster is just doing fine, she can cast her ult just as fast as you want, not to mention her insane damage can already satisfy you, then I think Jochu is not needed. Especially to some of the players that already invest in Acheron's second Eidolon, pulling for Jochu is useless. Well, except if you like his design or something. Acheron is already an amazing character, adding Jochu to her team comp is good, but not needed. As for dot team comps, I think using units like Ren Mei is still the best. What concerns me the most is that he lacks a gimmick. Just imagine if he could at least do some healing, even though it's not a significant one. A current team like this could be a viable, and of course, a dot team comps like this could be insane too. So, yeah, overall, he's not a must pull, but if you spend your jets on his banner, it's not something that you will regret later on. So, that's all from my Jiao Chu changes and possible builds. If there is anything missing, please add it in the comment section, and I also want to know your opinion about his changes. So, share your thoughts down below. If you like this video, please help this channel by giving a thumbs up and subscribing. Soon I will upload about March changes, so stay tuned. See humans in the next video.